Hey everybody, today we're going to talk all about the complimentary food on NCL Joy. Come check it out. Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time visiting us, thanks so much for coming to check us out. We are a small travel agency specializing in cruise travel. All we're doing here is trying to give you the best information possible to make sure you can plan and go on an amazing cruise vacation. That sounds good. We'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. Come check out some of our videos. We post a brand new video every single day. So let's get into it. We just got off the NCL Joy today. We're gonna to talk about the complimentary dining options. That is the food that is included in your cruise fare that you do not have to pay any extra for. So unfortunately, that's gonna take room service out of the mix because you do have to pay for room service. There is a fee, so the food technically is included. You have to pay a service charge for delivery, just like everything else now. Uh, there's a lot of nickel and diamond going on. So we're gonna get into it. Again, I talked about tipping last week, which was a hot topic. Uh, I am not in favor. It was really nice earlier this year. We went on MSC twice. There wasn't a ton of nickel and diming on MSC other than like bingo and stuff. But mostly it was pretty, you felt like, okay, I paid for the things that I wanted to do and I don't really hear about it. I hadn't been on NCL for a few months and I forgot how aggressive NCL was with a lot of the nickel and diming. And not that they're the only ones that charge for room service because everybody does now, but it just, uh, it just popped into my head. So, Let's talk about the complimentary dining or things that are included. Again, just to go back to that real quick, my thought process is I would prefer to pay a little bit extra for my cruise. I know this this is maybe could be true for some of you and not true for some of you. I would prefer to see the total cost up front and pay that total cost up front and then not get nickel and dime. By nickel and dimes, I'm not talking about specialty dining or excursions. Those are extra. I get it. I'm talking about once I get on the ship, if I didn't want to spend any more money, um, I don't want to feel like it's like, oh, well, I have to pay extra for a can of soda, but I can get regular soda. Or I get, you can order room service, but it's a you know $10 charge. Just charge me an extra 50 bucks and I won't care. And then I can order room service. So let's talk about it. It's uh, complimentary dining on the NCL Joy. We had a great time on the cruise. It was very crowded. Um, I don't love how crowded it was. There was a ton of, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. It's just busy times and, uh, cruising is exploding, which is great for everybody. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is the garden cafe, which is the buffet offering on the NCL joy. The garden cafe is small. It is not, uh, by far one of the biggest buffets on a cruise ship. I run into this a lot with Oasis too. Like if you go on the Oasis class ship, sometimes the buffet is not as big as you would think it would be for a ship that size. Same thing with the Garden Cafe here on Joy. I didn't have a hard time getting food. There was just nowhere to sit, uh, which is back to like 2018, 2019 levels of crowded. And, uh, you know, with the configuration of this ship, there's also no like outdoor seating uh, at the buffet, which I love. I love having that like back end of the ship. That's, um, the buffet and you have some, you know, options to sit outside on the joy. The buffet is in the front of the ship above the observation lounge. So there is no room there. However, it is nice. You can grab your food and go down to the observation lounge if you need to. The food in the buffet was very good. I had Indian food a couple times. Uh, I had breakfast a few times, lunch a few times, so never had an issue with the food. I generally don't ever have an issue with the food in the buffet. It's buffet food. It's fine. By the time I get it downstairs, it's a little cold, but it's fine. Uh, everything's pretty good. I had a burger up there. I had a hot dog up there. Like I said, I had an Indian food. I had breakfast, which is eggs, you know, bacon, uh, pancakes, those type of things. I generally don't eat dinner in the buffet because we do specialty dining uh, a decent amount or there's just other options. So, and I don't, you know, especially for dinner, I don't want to feel like I have to carry my dinner to another floor. With breakfast or lunch, I don't mind going out to the pool deck or carrying it and going somewhere. But for dinner, I want to sit down and enjoy my dinner. 
So the buffet was just really crowded, and I am not a fan of the that aspect of buffets. I've talked about it a million times. I don't like that people touch everything. I, you know, people are just reaching in and grabbing rolls and stuff with their hands, which is really disgusting. Norwegian does a pretty good job of asking everyone to wash their hands before they go in, but it's much more lax than it was even pre-pandemic, I find. I, I in pre-pandemic, I remember in 2018, 2019, when you went into the buffet, they would do washi washi and they would spray your hands at least with sanitizer. Now they just ask you to wash your hands and people just walk right through because again, people are gross. God forbid you wash your hands before you touch food. Um, so other than that, the food at the buffet is good. I have no issues with the quality of the food or the service there. It's usually just the fact that people are gross. Uh, and you know, it's just a, it's a, it's chaos sometimes because everybody just trying to cut in front of everybody else there. We, we had a really funny thing where like these two little girls who were like seven, were trying to put French fries on their plate. And they were like in the, in the line for like hot dogs and hamburgers. So there was only a few French fries there. They're little kids. They're trying to use the tongs, which is good. And they're struggling to do it. And some guy just got so frustrated and he was just like, you know, I just want a hot dog. And he's like cutting around everybody. And I'm like, all right, relax. They're seven. Like you could help them. You, there's a million things you could do um, and not get pissed off at little kids. So again, I think the buffet kind of brings out the worst in people, including myself. So uh, the food there, good, no issues at all. Taste and savor, which are the uh, complimentary or included um, main dining rooms. They were also packed. We ate breakfast in there once and lunch in there once. Uh, just packed to the gills. That hallway there during breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you couldn't even walk through the hallway. It was so crowded. I don't like that. The felt the ship felt like everything was squished. I felt like very crowded everywhere I went. I didn't feel open. Usually, if you know, even on like the really big ships like Oasis, I kind of feel like it's nothing but open air because there's 50 things going on and everybody's going to different places. On Joy, I felt like everybody was in the same spot at the same time all the time. Uh, everybody was on the pool deck or everybody was at the dining room or everybody was in the atrium. Uh, it just felt very crowded. None of the venues felt big enough for the amount of people. So the two dining rooms, again, I just like to give you the like full picture. Food was very good in the dining rooms. I, I like, I think Norwegian does free or complimentary food very well. It's again, food is very subjective. So I, I'm not here to tell you that it's, you know, no one's winning a Michelin star for the the complimentary dining on your cruise. It's It was very good. Everything that I had was good. I didn't have any issues with temperature or um, selection. There was a decent selection for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm going to show you the menus here so that you can see them. But breakfast was is always great on NCL. I usually get Eggs Benedict or the Express breakfast, which is pretty quick. And uh, they're very accommodating. Anything you want, you want extra bacon or ham or anything like that, it's fine. For lunch, same thing if you want an extra entree or dessert. I will say we went to lunch uh, one, I think it was the last sea day. We went to lunch at Taste uh, and we had our appetizers and entrees and they never brought our desserts, uh, which who cares, right? We don't need dessert, it was fine. But we realized after like 15 minutes, that a, just dessert just wasn't coming. So we just left. Uh, and we realized like she had said after entrees, if you need anything else, let me know. And that was it. So we left, but the food was good for lunch. The service is always good. Uh, again, they forgot our desserts. It's not the end of the world. They're busy. Stuff happens. Not worried about it at all. Uh, the other free or complimentary option. I hate saying free. Everybody gets mad when I say free because you're paying for your cruise. But included in your cruise fare is the local. So I like Oceans. I like the vibe of Oceans. Uh, they changed it to the local on the newer ships. It just feels cold. It doesn't feel the same as uh, Oceans did. Oceans had that like, you know, that uh, the bar feel to it, right? Like that Irish pub, you're going to go sit down, you're going to grab some food, you're going to grab a pint. And it's uh, it was just a very welcoming atmosphere, I think, on local. And I think Norwegian overall, as we've seen with Prima and now Viva, it's a little bit more of a cold aesthetic. It's a like a newer, modern design aesthetic that I don't particularly love. 
Some people like it. Some people don't. I think the outside of the ships look great. The Prima and the Viva, they look pretty from the front. Uh, but I don't like the, the decor on the inside and same thing on joy with the local. It just felt like a hospital cafeteria. I know it sounds terrible. It just feels like a cafeteria, right? You're going to go, you're going to sit down. There's really no color pop to it. There's no design element. It's very just beige with some accent wood tones, right? There's nothing really going on there. All good. I'm just my sensibilities. The food there, I love. I love going to the local Oroshians. You can go pretty much 24 hours a day. We did get turned away for lunch once. Uh, again, having to do with the crowd. We went uh, to Oceans or lo the local at about 10 after 12 on one of the sea days. And uh, they turned us away and said they were trying to finish breakfast and they weren't ready for lunch. And they wouldn't be ready for lunch till about 1 o'clock, uh, which is totally fun. Uh, it's... They were crowded. It was busy. It's not an imposition. We just went to the buffet. Uh, but it does give you an idea how busy or how crowded the ship was. And there's not a ton of complimentary options. So there's really only three. Uh, and you have to pick one of those three. But the food there, we ate there a few times. It's always standard. We got the pub hot dog. It's great. Uh, Meg had a Caesar salad, chicken Caesar salad or a Cobb salad. Sorry. Uh, the chicken, the chicken wings are pretty good. The pretzel bites are good. Generally, they don't come out hot. Just so you're aware, I, every time I've gotten them the last couple cruises, they've come out cold, not like room service, but like cold. Uh, like they're just sitting in the back and somebody just puts them in a bowl and, uh, they give you hot cheese with it, which is fine. They're pretzels. It, I don't need them to be hot. I'm just making a commentary on it. Uh, I've tried a bunch of other things there. Everything generally is good and it's easy. I ate breakfast there one day. I just had eggs and uh, bacon and an English muffin and it's good. Breakfast is good there. Lunch is good there. Late night food is good there. It's a great place to go. If you go to the social at night and you hang out a little bit at the club and then you go get some food, it's like that good hits the like diner vibe that you would be used to after the bar. All right. So two other complimentary restaurants are the Manhattan room. So Manhattan Room has the same exact menu as Taste and Savor. It's just in a little bit more of a grand uh, dining room. So my opinion on uh, the Manhattan Room on this particular cruise ship on Joy is it's very different than all of the other Manhattan Rooms. Most of the other Manhattan Rooms or the Tropicana Room uh, that it's called on the getaway have some type of singing or dancing in there in the evening. The... <clears throat> dancers will come in and do some performances or they just have a big dance floor in there. This ship, because of the retrofit uh, from the Asian market does not have that. So it's just a bigger dining room. So it looks nothing like the other uh, Manhattan rooms. It does when you walk in, it looks a little bit like it, but it doesn't have that grand scale. It doesn't have the, the dance floor in the middle. So food is the same as the main dining room. The menus are exactly the same. So it's good there. It's just a change of scenery if you'd like to eat somewhere else. The last one I'll mention where they do have complimentary food is the observation lounge. So in the observation lounge, uh, morning, afternoon, and evening, they do have some snacks. It is not by any means full meals. But for lunch, they did have sandwiches out, little uh, finger sandwiches, some meats, some cheeses, fruit. In the morning, they have oatmeal, different fruits, pastries out. And same in the evening, they had some assortment of meats and fruits and different sandwiches. So those are all great. It's a great spot if you eat light for any meal or you just want to grab something small. It was never crowded. There are coffee machines in there as well as the Vitality water machines. So you can go in there and get stuff to eat and drink up until about 10 o'clock, 1030 at night, which is really nice. Um, these are your complimentary options. All the food's good. The, the wait was really long on a lot of them and the ship was really crowded and the garden cafe is a little bit small. Other than that, the quality and service and the food is all good. Sometimes you just have to wait for it. So that's the complimentary dining on the NCL Joy. Let me know if you've been on Joy, if you saw the same things that we did. We watched a lot of videos leading up to this. Uh, so my expectations were very low, which is good because then I, I thought everything was perfectly fine. So let me know what you think. Uh, we Again, we'd love for you to subscribe. Come check out our channel. We put out a video every single day. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.